Hi there guys and welcome to the watch channel. Today I want to talk to you about my current collection, give you a bit of an update on what the collection looks like in 2021, what's gone and what's in. So without further ado, let's crack on. Okay guys, so first things first, wristwatch check, uh, just sporting a very mild uh, tan line because all my watches are down here to show you. Uh, on the other wrist though, I do have this and keen to get your thoughts on whether you would like me to do a review or a close look at this. It is the Mi Smartband 6. Uh, as you can see, I've got a bit of timber on the old frame and uh, keen to try and uh, utilize whatever tools I can to, to get myself a little bit fitter and healthier and uh, saw this on Amazon and yeah, fantastic price, like 50 bucks or something like that. And does just as much as, uh, as an Apple Watch. And uh, I think it's probably a little bit of a secret um, to most people, you know, like the, not many people are aware of this brand and, and the capabilities that they have. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in uh, looking at this particular watch. Uh, so uh, without further ado, what has gone from the collection? Uh, two watches have disappeared. Uh, so first one is the SBDC051, I think it is, or 31, I can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the, the model and, and the picture here. But it's essentially the Seiko Marine Master 200. Um, contains a six arm movement, a sapphire crystal, a sort of polished uh, bezel, very similar to what you'd find on the Marine Master uh, 300, or it's, you know, it's big brother, more expensive big brother anyway. Um, you know what, case size, uh, whole design, aesthetics of the watch, absolutely happy with. But I'd had it for about three years, actually no, a couple of years, sorry. And um, I saw Seiko's pricing. I had an itch for a couple of watches which I've, I've purchased. And uh, I thought, you know what, it's not getting a lot of you know time in, on the wrist, so uh, let's, let's get rid of it. So positive is with the Seiko's pricing strategy, I did sell it for there or thereabouts what I paid for it, so that was good. Um, uh, yeah, so that went, and then the second watch which went was my Grand Seiko GMT Quartz. And um, yeah, that was, that was a little bit more of a difficult one, but uh, fundamentally it just came down to the fact that, and, and, and you know what, I'd love to hear if anybody else has had this. Uh, it just didn't, on the wrist, it didn't look what it looks like on everybody else's wrist or in the advertising materials. It was like I'd purchased a watch that sort of looked like it, but it didn't look like it, if that made sense. Just, but me just wasn't feeling it, you know, in the strange fucked up mind that we have as watch collectors. Um, but yeah, like I say, uh, it just wasn't, I just wasn't feeling the love anymore. Um, you know, no doubt the accuracy and what have you was uh, uh, unquestionable, but for me, wasn't getting much wrist time, wasn't really in love with it as much as it was previously, so out it goes. I uh, took a bit of a hit on that, but uh, you know, with the funds from that, I did manage to buy three watches that I really like, and also have a little bit of money to kick back into the uh, housekeeping kitty, which the missus was very happy about. So without further ado guys, let's have a quick look at what I currently have in my collection. And we'll start from oldest uh, to newest. So, oldest one in my collection, this is one that's never going to go, is my Amiga Seamaster GMT. So this is the old Bond era um, from 2005-2006. Uh, basically, this was a gift to be given by my wife, uh, who was then my girlfriend. And, um, uh, yeah, for my 30th birthday, actually. So, uh, thank you very much, wifey. And... Um, yeah, I really like this watch, like I say. I think, bearing in mind I got this in 2006, so you can probably guess what my age is from, from that. 
you know, I think the aesthetics and the design of it have really stood the test of time. Really pleased with this watch, and I'd say it's a keeper and it'll be a hand-me-down. Second oldest, the Bulliver Lunar Pilot. Now, this is the oldest model that they produced with the modern Bulliver typeface, and it comes on this uh, Bulliver steel bracelet. They did release limited edition at the same time, which came on a carbon fiber strap, and yeah, I wasn't that keen on that on that particular model, but uh, like I say, got this beautiful watch. Like I say, anybody looking for a Speedmaster but doesn't want a Speedmaster or can't afford one, check this watch out. Please do yourselves a favor. And if you don't have one in your collection, you can afford one, get one. The Steinhardt Ocean 39 GMT with the ceramic bezel. Uh, I've had this watch, well, I've had uh, the aluminium bezel version of this watch, both in 42 mil and 39. Uh, I've owned it in the Coke and also the Pepsi variations. And, um, look, you know, you pay maybe about 700 Australian for one of these. I got this from Nomon Watches in uh, Singapore, uh, delivered to me in Australia within three days, no customs duty, uh, just a very, very simple transaction. And, uh, you know, it's a really, really nice watch. Uh, this most modern version of it does have a slightly thicker clasp, uh, and like I say, the uh, the aluminium, sorry, the uh, uh, ceramic bezel on it has got a nice sheen to it. Like I say, for me, I'm never going to be able to afford the GMT Rolex, uh, so this for me is the uh, homage of choice. Fantastic watch. Yeah, you did another video, guys, on. Uh, you know, Rolex, Submariners, etc. And at one point I did have enough money for a subby at retail and I had a, a number of experiences going into authorized dealers. Um, and I have documented those in previous videos and just thought, you know what? I'm not gonna be paying the second hand markup rate for any of these watches. Well, I can't afford it quite simply. I can't get one at retail. Um, and uh, yeah, overall just very, very frustrating. So decided to go with another Steinhardt and this time I went for the Kermit. So this is the Ocean 39 Kermit with the green ceramic. Again, not that much difference in terms of case. In fact, no, no change in case there. Just the fact that's GMT and this is just a regular uh, three hand with date. Again, uh, you know, these watches are fantastic value for money this was maybe about 650 i think a bit cheaper than the gmt but you know uh 300 meters water resistance uh proper swiss movement assembled in switzerland and uh you know just great pound per pound value uh okay then we also have this and oh you know what uh i i gave seiko a bit of a going over a couple of days ago in a video uh, but I couldn't get past this particular watch, which is the Seiko Green Grenade Turtle. It's King Turtle, so basically Sapphire Crystal, Date Magnifier, same old 4R36 movement, but I'm hoping that because it is uh, uh, an older movement, uh, it's just going to be a reliable workhorse, and it's just going to keep going and going and going. Uh, one of the strange things that attracted me to this was the fact that it had this really nice, soft and supple uh, rubber strap and I didn't have any rubber strap watches so for me this was you know uh, I suppose a unique piece and uh, you know thought you know let's try it uh, good thing is you know it comes with uh, I think a two or three year warranty so hopefully if it does have any you know problems they'll present themselves within that period and I can shoot it back off to Seiko and get it replaced or repaired or whatever it needs to be uh, last but not least, this was a birthday present, so a very recent acquisition. And I really like this watch because of, um, uh, well, actually, I really lusted after the uh, Amiga Skywalker uh, Impulse, Solar Impulse, uh, the X33. So it was an Anadigi Mission to Mars type watch. And um, I saw this and thought, you know what, this is very, very similar in terms of aesthetics. Um, and it was a really good price, so I thought, you know what, let's crack on and get it. So, sit there. This is the Citizen Eco Drive, um, and you can see there it has the hybrid and a digi display. Um, 
and a beautiful, you know, these lime green accents, uh, much the same as the X33 Solar Impulse. One of the other things I really like about this, guys, is the recording capability in terms of chronograph. So uh, not only is it a, a dual chronograph, so it's got hybrid uh, analog and digital chronograph capabilities, it is a one one thousandth of a second timer. Now, you know, not many people need a thousandth of a second timing, um, and certainly it's questionable as to whether, you know, when you press it and somebody touches the wall at the end of a race or whatever it may be, how accurate that's gonna be. But what I do love is um, just this, this, this hand up at the, the 12 o'clock uh, position. So just check this out, guys. Can you see that flying around? So it's got two chronograph functions there. The one which is whizzing around a thousandth of a second and the other one doing a hundredth of a second. Now, uh, I'll put a video down, uh, or in this, this video, sorry, showing you I've slowed it down in slow motion so you can see it going. But really, really love it. Uh, again, Eco Drive watch, so uh, powered by the sun. So don't really need a battery. Don't really need to worry about battery changes on it. Uh, the only thing I am concerned about a little bit is uh, what I do after this blue leather strap has uh, done its uh, dash. So that'd be quite interesting to see, you know, what happens on uh, on my search for a new strap when that finally does occur. But um, hey, guys, uh, that's it really in terms of what I have in my collection. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, really keen, guys, share what you're currently wearing, what you're thinking of getting rid of, what you're thinking of acquiring, and obviously if you've got any comments uh, or so on and so forth, please put them in the, uh, uh, the description below. But like I say, yeah, thanks so much for your time. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, guys, bye.